Hello, hi, and welcome to the next video in our Unity tutorial series. We currently have the game, it's playable, it's perfectly fine, uh, but I want to add some more details, right? Right now, what I want to add is when we jump with the character, I want a little kind of an animation in the form of, an, of a particle system. What exactly is a particle system? We will look at that right now. It should look nice, like in all those games where we where we jump, there's a little cloud or a little dust from our, at our feet, something like this. That's exactly what we want to do. And how do we do that? Uh, I want to add it exactly to our player prefab because it should be in all the levels and not just in one. So go to the player prefab, um, hit the Alt key and press on the arrow, or directly go to the prefab in our prefabs here. That's also legit. Um, we want to add a little cloud-like thingy on the bottom of our feet. So right mouse button and we have so-called effects. There's particle systems. So just add a particle system and you will see, if we reset the transform here, you will see it spits out those so-called particles. Each and every single one of those is a particle, which is a two-dimensional sprite. It's just an image. All of these are just images. They look three-dimensional because they follow us. They follow the camera with a billboard, so-called. Um, let's put this at our feet, first of all. Boop, at our feet. There we go. We can change a lot of things with this particle system. Right? First thing is we want to deactivate the looping for this one. It's, there's many, many different things. Sometimes you want in, it repeating forever. In our case, just if we jump, I want it to play once. So deactivate looping and you see it turns off. If you press on play here in the particle effect window, it will play now for five seconds because that is the duration and that's done. That's too long. I want 0 0.5. It's just a short jumping effect, like just blowing and then 0 0.5, that should be enough. You see how long they stay alive, the single particles. Whenever I press play, right now it's five seconds and that is the lifetime. The start lifetime so let's change that also to maybe one second lifetime let's see and that's just alive for one second okay that's okay let's make them slower 0 0.5 that's the speed and now they should not go away as fast now nah, maybe, maybe let's make them still at two speed and lifetime 0 0.4 something like this just random values let we see this there we go. And now this is what show what should show up when we're whoops when we're jumping. I just hit F. <laughs> there we go. This is what should show up when we are jumping. Let's make it even more pretty. There's so many settings. As you can see here on the on the side in the particle editor, which you can detach by the way. If you click open editor, you will have a window only dedicated for those particles that we have. Right? Only for those that we have. Uh, I like to have it in the editor, in the Unity editor itself. There we go, into in our scene editor. So there's a couple of things I want to change. So there's hundreds of settings in here. As you can see, there's a lot. Uh, I want to change the emission. Right now, if you press play, there's only like a couple of those little things, right? A couple of those, and there should be more. Let's maybe make it 35. And you will see it will emit over the time 35 of those particles. Very good. Let's change the shape. The shape is not the shape of the particles themselves. That is something else. That is the renderer in the end. The shape is the shape of the um, emitter. So where do they spawn? I want them to spawn at our feet, right? right just below us, at our feet, so to say, in a circle shape. So if you select circle, right now you see it is rotated. I don't want it rotated this way, so we can definitely change the rotation here. There we go. Let's change the rotation. And if I press play now, you see they spawn at our feet in a circular shape. Right. Maybe let's let's make the radius smaller. Uh, thickness doesn't really matter because it's a circle anyway. Um, there we go. Now it spawns at our feet. And this is what's going to be displayed when we jump. Right. Let's make them not... Let's make them 0 0.3, maybe. <laughs> I just want it to look pretty. Yeah, that's better. Uh, 0 0.5. I'm just playing with values. So should you. This is a lot of playing around. I like this. That's okay. 
So that's the shape. We had the mission, we had the shape. There's a lot, lot more. Just play around with it a little bit, get a feeling for it. Uh, what I also want to do is the uh, size over lifetime. I want them to get smaller the more far away they are. So li size over lifetime, just activate the checkbox and it will have size over lifetime. Now it gets bigger. Might also look cool. Might also look cool, but I want it smaller actually. So click on the on the axis here and just select the curve style that you want. I want it to get smaller. Something like this. That looks pretty cool. That looks actually very decent. Okay, so um, yeah, this particle system now exists. Let's go, let's get, there's more settings we could do right now. I won't. Let's go back and let's press play and you see nothing happens because we have deactivated it. Oh, it was once played in the beginning. You saw it once in the beginning. Um, so if I replay this, you will see it playing once. So we still need to deactivate that. I forgot. Back to the prefab, go to the particle system and there is play on awake. Let's deactivate play on awake. Let's deactivate play on awake. And you will see when we play, it isn't there anymore. So what I want to do is when we jump, this should be at our feet, right? So uh, let's go to our player movement script because this is where we're jumping. You know, let's open up the player movement script. There it is. Let's import the particle system, public particle system. There it is. Let's call that jump cloud. It is a cloud, jump cloud. There you go. This jump cloud should play when we jump. So let's search for the spot where we're jumping, which is down here. Let's maybe make a comment here. This is where we jump. <laughs> and let's add the cloud, which is the jump cloud. That's the one we are importing up here. And just say dot play. Open closing brackets because it's a function and that's it. Now the jump cloud will play when we're jumping. So let's save, let's put this to the side. Um, and you will see we need to import the uh, jump cloud now, which we of course go to the, uh, into the prefab. And now we can select the particle system here, just select it from the list, because that's what we have. Let's also rename it jump cloud, or some, something along those lines. Okay, and that's it. Let's see if we press play and I'm jumping. You see, we always have this little jump cloud. Woo! It is right now at our feet. Right? It is at our feet. That is not 100% correct. It should maybe stay on the ground, which we will talk about. Maybe we'll change this when we're talking about instantiating. But I think this gives a little push. This gives a little magic into the game. Right? We could also make particle systems when we hit a target, when we uh, hit the goal. When we fall down, there's a lot of things like, or when we just run, it could always like be behind us, like a uh, running dust, stuff like this. Uh, since I still have two minutes, I still have something else prepared because this is not pretty enough, right? It is pretty, but not pretty enough. It's just those circular things. One more important part here in the, um, in the particle system editor is the renderer. If we go in the renderer, we can choose a material. And I have prepared, uh, if I, yeah, I have prepared on my desktop, just a cloud sprite. If I open this, it's just a little cloud. Right? It's a PNG, just get, go out there in the internet, get a free PNG, uh, make sure it's not copyrighted if you want to publish it like I did. Um, so let's drag and drop that into our project, boom. I have got it there. We've got a cloud spread. You see it has a green background. Pretty silly because right now it, it, if you click on it, it's a default texture. It has to be a sprite texture. Let's apply it. This is our cloud sprite now. Um, the particle system needs a material though. So what we need to do is creating a new material, right? Mouse button, create new material. Uh, let's call that also cloud. Let's just call that cloud. This material needs the cloud sprite as an albedo, which is what it looks like, uh, the colorizing of the of the uh, material. And it's not opaque, it is fade because we need to see through some of the, uh, the, the, the cloud. So you see right now it's fading. 
If it's opaque, you cannot see through it at all. If it's fade, you can see through it. Let's maybe set the set it a little bit, the albedo down here, the alpha value so we can see through it. And let's go to our jump cloud. Let's select the material. We can just drag and drop the new material that we have created into the particle system. And let's look, let's see what it looks like. Right. Boom. <laughs> this looks amazing. This looks pretty cool. Right. This looks pretty cool. The only thing that is bugging me a little bit still, I want to change some of those parameters, which I, there's hundreds play with them. The size of a lifetime should be more aggressive. So I will just take the graph here, right? And I will make it a bit more, just, just a tad more aggressive, like stronger, maybe linear rather than um, exponential. And there we go, did this. And now look at this, we've got a jumping cloud at our feet. Maybe it's too aggressive, maybe it's too much, maybe it's too fast, I don't know. This is however you like it, just play around with it a little bit. Um, yeah, that's particle systems. We can use those in a lot, 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 lot of places. You will, in the end of the day, you will use those a lot when you're programming a game. But that was just the intro, 11 minutes. I think that is enough for one video. So welcome in the, to the world of particle systems. The game looks nicer now. <laughs> Um, if there's any helpful, if you liked it, just leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, just wait for more videos, they are coming, to, uh, like, I'm pumping those out as much, out as, much as I can. Uh, thanks for joining on this trip, and I will see you the next time around. Stay safe, stay healthy, and bye-bye!